when it got to the World Cup. Not only my body, but my head wasn't ready for that. I tried concentrating the most on the World Cups, but some injuries pushed me back a little bit. They've always had the, the determination and enthusiasm to do everything, but they've not had somebody to actually tell them exactly what they need to do to get to where they need to be. We're here at Revolution Bike Park. We're doing a test day with JTEC. We've got the data log on our bikes, which will tell us what we should do with the suspensions. It's really cold today, so it's really hard to test. We'll be riding the same track as fast as we can, many runs and changing settings and see how it improves for us. The data comes in graph form. So the dynamic sag is the first thing to work on, so that's the, the ride height basically. And then we work on uh, rebound damping speeds and get those balanced front and rear. For the compression, we want a, a balance between being able to generate speed through the bike, the rider input into the bike. So we want it as firm as possible for that, but obviously not too firm that it's not absorbing everything um, and giving too much feedback through the bike and fatiguing the rider. This last run, the bike was riding just faster, like it was rolling faster on the straight line, so yeah, that was pretty good. We've stuck with the same rear shock springs, the sag's fine on those. Uh, we've increased fork pressures a little. Fine-tuned the rebound, mainly in the fork. Uh, we've increased compression damping to a point where they can still hold on. <laughs> we've shaved uh, around about four seconds off a of run time. hopefully coming out of this with a better bike. So we have now a personal trainer. He, we have a program that we stick with it and we follow every single day. I think the training that I've been doing this off season helped me a lot. Yesterday I've done 10 full runs and today I still feel all right, which I'm really surprised with. We're here with the Olympus training. We did some tests with him at the start of the winter and there we found out all our max BPM and our max effort with lifting weights and now we're here again just before the season starts and then see how much we improved as well. When I met Douglas and Roger and I asked them about the, the training history. They told me that pretty much what they were doing before, it was mainly what they knew, what they were seeing you know, from social media and stuff. They didn't have a direction, basically. I give them a guidance, give them a direction. And you can tell from that, that they, straight away, that the body language changes, the attitude changes, they're more focused now. You can tell that they have more confidence as well on and off the bike. People think, generally, that you know, like if you're super strong on the bike, definitely going to be super fast on the bike, which doesn't count like this. Yes, we, we want to be strong for the bike, but mainly to be able to handle the bike and if the guy is crashed, we do injury prevention, trying to be more resilient basically on the crash as well. Personally, I'm quite pleased with uh, where we are now. I keep saying as well, we don't train for the gym, we train for the bike. All they need to go now and do is just go and smash it and good luck with the races. We went to San Remo, Italy with SR Sumter for testing the suspension. First run I felt like I didn't know how to ride a bike and I wouldn't be able to ride on that track. After a few runs I started getting confident on it and then getting faster as well. We probably came out there with uh, a lot of knowledge. Qualifying now is crazy. 
you've got to be 100% just to get through to the final. Everything is now right down to the littlest details been changed. They're prepared.